welcome to Evans Houseshaw TV. In this video, we're going to be running through the new Ford Fiesta, which has undergone a series of updates for 2022. Coming up, we're going to explore some of the changes that have been made over the outgoing model. We'll have a look around the cabin and its technology, and then we'll finish off by talking about the engines and specifications that are available. The most prominent changes to the new Fiesta can be found at the front end. For example, this grille is much larger than what it was on the outgoing model. Ford have also moved the badge from just below the bonnet to the front grille itself. Other changes include a slightly raised bonnet, redesigned headlamps, which incorporate LED daytime running lights, and these redesigned side grills slash vents, which are more prominent than before. In the Fiesta, you get a 311 litre boot, which should be more than enough for your weekly shop or if you have a young and active family. You get a hook situated either side of the boot to help secure your shopping, and you also get a couple of top tether points. A spare wheel is available as an optional extra. However, if you don't go for that, then you do get some tools such as a tow hook, some tire sealant and a pump for your tires. If you do need more space for stuff, then what you can do is remove the parcel shelf and then fold the seats down, which will reveal just over a thousand liters of storage capacity for you to play with. All versions of the Fiesta come with an 8-inch central touchscreen, which gives you access to the brand's SYNC infotainment system. It's a really easy system to use, thanks to the simplified menus and the shortcuts that sit across the bottom. You also get these physical controls, which allows you to change things like the volume or allows you to adjust the sound settings. One underrated feature, though, is it allows you to turn off the screen completely, which is ideal if you're driving at night. It's also worth noting that all cars come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which makes it dead easy to connect your smartphone. If you look down here, you also have physical controls for the climate, which makes it easy to adjust everything whilst you're on the move. If you go for the optional winter pack, you can also control the heated seats and the heated steering wheel from down here too. All cars come with a 12 volt socket and a USB port as well. If you go for a Vignal model, which is what Ford pitches their sort of premium offering, then you get a digital instrument cluster. It's easy to control thanks to these buttons on the steering wheel and allows you to adjust things like the navigation and even select different screens based on your preferences. It also changes theme based on the driving mode that you're in. Speaking of which, each car comes with three driving modes. You have normal, eco and sport. However, if you go for an active model, which is designed for those with a more active lifestyle, as the name would suggest, you get additional driving modes for slippery surfaces and trails. If you don't go for a Vignal model, then the rest of the range comes with a pair of analog dials with a TFT screen in the middle. The new Fiesta can be had with two different petrol engines one of which is available with three different power outputs. Kicking off the range is a 1.1 litre that produces 75 brake horsepower. It takes around 14 and a half seconds to get from 0 to 62 miles per hour, and it will return around 52 miles to the gallon. It's only available with a five-speed manual gearbox, and it's probably best recommended if you do a lot of urban driving. It's also worth noting that it's only available on the entry-level trend model. The second option you have is a one litre EcoBoost which is available in either 100, 125 or 155 brake horsepower. The 100 brake horsepower model only comes with a 6-speed manual gearbox and will take around 10 and a half seconds to get from 0 to 62 miles per hour. However, you will see around 53 mpg from this unit. If you go for a model with 125 or 155 brake horsepower, you'll get mild hybrid technology, which helps lower emissions, especially in congested areas. The two most powerful versions come with a six-speed manual gearbox as standard. However, you can have what we have here, which is a seven-speed automatic. Now, depending on the specification you go for, it will take you between 8.9 and 9.5 and seconds to get from 0 to 62 miles per hour, and you should be able to achieve between 48 and 52 miles to the gallon.
Finally, that brings us on to the Ford Fiesta ST, which is the performance variant that's a firm favourite among driving enthusiasts across the country. Under the bonnet is a 1.5 litre turbocharged EcoBoost engine that produces just under 200 brake horsepower. It's paired with a 6-speed manual gearbox and needs just 6.7 seconds to achieve 0 to 62 miles per hour. Perhaps most impressively, it can still return over 40 mpg on a combined cycle. Complementing the power are bigger brakes, faster steering and uprated suspension, which helps the Fiesta ST on twisty roads. The latest version comes with a Quake limited slip differential as standard, whereas before it used to be an optional extra. It really helps deploy the power through corners. There are several driving modes to choose from, two of which are engineered for sports and track driving. They sharpen things like the throttle response and steering, and also enhance the sound of the valve exhaust system. With a number of eye-catching exterior upgrades, such as a front splitter, rear spoiler, and sporty diffuser, the Fiesta ST looks as good as it drives. The Fiesta is available in eight specifications, which may sound daunting, but they've been broken up into categories based on what you need and want from a car. So, you have the everyday models, the active range, and then the ST lines. Kickstarting the range is the trend which gets things like cruise control, selectable driving modes and manual air conditioning. Then you have the titanium and titanium vinyl models which add luxuries such as keyless start, privacy glass and rear parking sensors. The vinyl benefits from larger wheels, heated front seats and a digital instrument cluster as we mentioned earlier. The active and active vinyl are easy to distinguish from the rest of the range because they are designed for those living in the countryside. Therefore, they have ray suspension, roof rails and plastic moulds around the arches for added protection. Next up is the ST line range, which is geared towards people who want something sporty but super efficient. Therefore, they get tuned suspension that's lower than the other cars. They also have a unique body kit and sporty wheels. Finishing everything off is the Performance ST, which we covered earlier in this video. If you're in the market for a great all-round Super Mini that's fun to drive and affordable to run, then the Ford Fiesta should be on your shortlist to consider. If one does take your fancy, then you can check out the latest deals on new and used examples on the Evans Shore website. If you've enjoyed this video, then please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know what you think of the Fiesta in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.